recently I've seen several people in my comments section noticing that the beef they buy from the grocery store has recently started tasting funny to them. Funny meaning different or off in some way, unlike how it had before. It's unlikely that they bought grass-fed and grass-finished beef without realizing it. For those who aren't aware, grass-finished beef does taste different than conventionally raised beef. Some have described the taste as a little gamey. Any way you cut it, it's unlikely that the cause of the beef tasting different to those who've noticed this is caused by accidentally buying beef that is several times more expensive than conventionally raised beef. So what's the issue? If this applies to you, if this has been your experience, it could be that the beef you bought recently wasn't actually made in America despite its labeling. This obviously applies mostly to Americans watching this. It's becoming an open secret that for the past decade, the United States has imported large amounts of beef from Central and South America. This despite the United States being one of the world's leaders in exporting beef. Why import beef when we export so much of it? Because as it turns out, the big beef companies can make more money exporting high-quality American beef to foreign markets than they can selling it to Americans. So they import beef from Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, and some other countries. And how the industrial cattle operations in those places operate is going to be a little different than in the United States. That can contribute to a difference in taste. Change a cow's diet a little bit and you get different tasting meat. But it does get better too because a lot of those that are raised overseas will be sold in the U.S. in the meat department under the label of product of the U.S. or something similar. It's a deceptive practice to put it mildly. How do they get away with that? We well, see there's an old legal loophole exploited by manufacturing industries of all kinds that basically permits a company to claim something is made in America but is simply assembled in America. Sometimes that assembly is literally like the last 25% of the assembly process too. Now, the U.S. government may get involved in this and actually change the laws, at least on the beef side of things. Headline from the Associated Press. Made in the USA? Proposed rule clarifies grocery meat labels. Look, I don't care which political party in the government is responsible for trying to fix this. If it's actually above board and not a secretly corrupt way of helping one particular company or group of interests dominate everyone else in the market, then I'm all for it. There is no clarity in these meat labels. People think product of USA means made in America, and that's sadly not the case. They think they're buying American-raised cattle when often they're not. From the article, quote, Shoppers could soon find it easier to tell if those grocery store steaks or pork chops were really made in the USA. Federal agriculture officials on Monday released new requirements that would allow labels on meat, poultry, or eggs to use that phrase, or product of USA, only if they come from animals, quote, born, raised, slaughtered, and processed in the United States. That's a sharp change from current policy, which allows voluntary use of such labels on products from animals that have been imported from a foreign country and slaughtered in the U.S., but also on meat that's been imported and repackaged or further processed. Imports of beef from countries including Australia, Canada, and Brazil for instance, account for about 12% of the total cons consumed in the U.S. Overall, imports of red meat and poultry account for less than 6%, while imports of eggs account for less than half of 1%. U.S. Department of Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack said the proposed rule would better align the labels with consumers' views. A survey commissioned by the USDA found that nearly two-thirds of shoppers believed that a, quote, product of USA label meant that most or all meat production steps occurred in the U.S., end quote. Those import numbers have been growing, too, by the way. You may have noticed in the carnivore and keto spaces that for those of us willing to touch the social and political side of the carnivore discussion, we usually say that if you have the means to do so, you should buy your beef from a local rancher. It's the best way you can do things on your own to combat lawfare that's going on where certain interests are trying to put beef raisers out of business using the courts. Yeah, that actually happens and has been happening for years. There really are forces in America that want to put meat producers out of business, so you have to buy plant-based alternatives. And a lot of the people behind this are not part of the government. They're just well-financed civilians with legal power and influence and try to get mechanisms put into place that drives the majority of meat producers out of business. It's insidious, and it's happening out in the open. And that's why I'm so cautious about this story. You see, the problem is that most laws passed by Congress and a lot of the administrative rules implemented 
by the bureaucracy are done so at the behest of lobbyists. Companies will push for their own industries to get regulated, but they'll do it in such a way they can survive while their own competition may not be able to. And that's actually what concerns me here. Curious, who stands to profit from this? I rarely see government taking action on things that are good with no strings attached, but here are some details about what the new labeling would actually be and might give us some insight here. Quote, there's obviously a disconnect between what the consumer's understanding and expectations are and what the label currently is, Vilsack said in an interview. About 12% of all meat, poultry, and egg products sold in the country carry the U.S. origin labels, USDA officials said. The label change was first proposed by President Joe Biden in 2021 and was included last year in a series of steps to bolster the U.S. meat and poultry supply chain. The USDA survey conducted last summer included a nationally representative sample of more than 4,800 American adults who do the grocery shopping for their families and who bought beef or pork in the previous six months. More than 40% of the shoppers said they look for the USA label when buying meat. The rule was praised by consumer advocates and representatives for U.S. ranchers and farmers, including the U.S. Cattlemen's Association, which petitioned the USDA for the label change in 2019. The proposed rule finally closes the loophole by accurately defining what these voluntary origin claims mean, said Justin Tupper, the group's president. If it says made in the USA, then it should be from cattle that have only known U.S. soil. Consumers have the right to know where their food comes from, full stop. Thomas Gramillion, director of Food Policy for the Consumer Federation of America, said the change is a small, quote, small but important step that should have been made long ago. Under the current rule, Gramillion noted a cow can be raised in Mexico under that country's regulations for feed and medications, then shipped across the border and slaughtered the same day to make ground beef and steaks that qualifies product of USA. Carrie Belcorn, executive director of the trade group American Grass-Fed Association, said the existing rule also penalizes small domestic producers. It's expensive to raise grass-fed and gra grass-raised animals from scratch, Balcom said. And these large producers were importing these animals raised elsewhere and just repackaging them and then kind of coasting on the made-in-the-USA label, end quote. The U.S. Cattlemen's Association doesn't want these labels to be voluntary. They want to be, them to be strict and mandatory. I'm with them on that. I really am. The, on the other hand, the North American Meat Institute is a D.C.-based industry lobbyist group that opposes the labeling entirely. So that lets you know where the interests lie on this. I'm curious, when you buy meat, do you only buy meat made in your country when you can? If you're not in America and you see... If you're seeing these kind of labels in your country clearer, are they much? Are the laws there tighter than they are in the United States? And if you're an American seeing this, do you support this action? Let me know in the comments, please. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help, as does sharing this on social media. That helps a lot, too. I'm Anthony Stein, The Practical Carnivore. Thanks for tuning in today.